Hello, and welcome to Platinum Hog Plays, Kingdom Hearts 0.2 Birth by Sleep, A Fragment Passage. Ugh. Okay, so I want to give a brief history or summary about what the heck I'm doing, see why the heck I'm playing this game, and why I'm not actually playing a... Now, once again, I doubt very few people will see this, but a real Kingdom Hearts game. And I say this isn't a real Kingdom Hearts game because... Um, according to my save file from my prior playthrough, it only took me four hours to beat this. And, um, because I don't want to pick up another heavy Let's Play, because I'm still working on finishing up Nier Automata, and I technically still have to play uh, through Star Ocean, which I've put on pause, and I just kind of played that because I... I mean, it was just a thing I needed to play, and also, I wanted a reason to get through it. But, uh, because I finally have the, uh, capture card, and, um, going back to, uh, think a comment, or should, yeah, stuff I said in, uh, Nier Automata, I, uh, I can't record PlayStation 3 games, and I have the, uh, complete Kingdom Hearts, I have Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, or, I have all the, I have, I have all the Kingdom Hearts games, but I can't play most of them because, well, they're either on PS2, it's either at the PS2 versions or the PlayStation 3 versions. And long story short, I wanted to play something Kingdom Hearts related. So, uh, no, 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 get back to the main menu. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna put a little link so you can skip past this anyway. Uh, let's begin. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts 0 uh, 0.2 Birth by Sleep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. New game. Uh, yes, I would like to copy that over from my prior save file. I will be playing on standard. Uh, the audio's not that delayed this time around. That's pretty good. Yes, I know how to play the game. And, um... So, more info about me in this game. Uh, this is, once again, the 2.8 HD collection with, um, ooh, Keyblade Graveyard. And that's such a cool Keyblade. Um, but wait a second. I bought this, um, for 50, okay, because I bought the special edition, right? So it came with a little pen in the nice box. And I got that for $50. Oh, look, it's Xehanort. Oh, no, it's not. It's... Oh, it's the kid from the movie that comes with this. And there's the box, and there's the master's eye. You know, that kid... You know, that... That that unreal movie they made, you know, it adds... A, you know, it adds some information, but just leaves more questions than anything else. But as I was saying, I got this game for 50 bucks. The great battle with Xehanort is and almost upon us. I can say this collection, you know, 2.8 you know, is not worth $50. must take action to keep the seven pure lights safe. It might be worth 39 Thus, we must hasten to assemble the seven guardians of light. But... It is uh, time to return to our world the three keyblade kind of builders like we another, lost over a decade well, ago. Yeah, I'll shut up. Ventus, Terra, and Aqua must be saved from their sad end, for they have more to achieve. Following their first battle with Xehanort, Ventus's heart refused to awaken, and so Aqua found a safe location to conceal him. But when she set off in search of her other missing friend, Terra, she fell to a place from which there is no return without outside help. I saw her in the realm of darkness. As I was saying, this game is not worth full price. Um, the movie that comes, see the, see this, Kingdom Hearts, the Birth by Sleep thing that I'm playing right now, that's worth at least five dollars. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe twenty. Fifteen? At no, less than 30 not less than $25 then the animated film which I'm not even sure if it's a full-length film that's probably worth 
five bucks at best. Ten, no, ten at best. And hopefully I don't get copyright for this, I'm gonna continue talking. Um, then there's, um, what else? The, uh, Dream Drop Distance is also part of this. And, um, I played on the 3DS, and, oh, this is gonna overpower my voice like no one's business! Hopefully this video does not get pulled because of that song and I didn't talk at all during it, but um, that's a good remix, I really like it. Now, what was I saying before? Oh yeah, this game isn't worth, it's, let's see, the worth the, the amount I paid for it, yada yada yada. Uh, how this game comes with, uh, Dream Drop Distance, and the 3DS version is actually, I think, better than the PS3 version, and by that I mean Dream Drop Distance feels like a handheld game that was made for the 3DS, which it was, and is, and, uh, while the game runs at a nice 60 FPS, and is in a nice clean HD, um, does not oh. feel like it should be Could it here. be? Hello, Aqua. Long time no see. How have you been? Anyway, but, um, as a sap who likes Kingdom Hearts, I just had to make this, this mostly Aside from the fact that um, it was mostly the fact that, uh, for this one specifically, because you know, all in I'm all hyped up when I'm still for uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 to eventually come out. Um, I saw this as a kind of a no, I don't need the tutorial. I saw this as almost like a kind of glorified tech demo for the uh, for Kingdom Hearts 3, which it kind of is from what I understand. Assuming that the game is still being made on or with the uh, I can't remember the buttons. What is jump? X? No. Circles jump. Okay. What's the uh, dodge button here? Yep. Okay. Uh, the control scheme still really messes me up on here. But um, I saw this game as a kind of glorified tech demo for uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Because if I recall, like I said, if I recall correctly. I was pretty sure, and say I'm pretty sure the uh, three is being made with Unreal, with the Unreal Engine, and assumedly this game must control somewhat similar to it. But um, from other sources, I've heard that the uh, this version, let's see, this game was made by the uh, people who, um, or maybe I was getting confused with something else, but by the people who make the HD ports. Or this wasn't specifically touched by Tetsuya Nomura to begin with, or something Why along that line. But anyway, world, um, here in the darkness, 
I'm also a really big fan of Aqua and her blue hair. What can I say? I'm find uh, girls with blue hair quite attractive, especially if they're anime. If they're in my own anime video games. Um, there's also just another cuisine. There's also just a nice chance to see what the heck happened to the uh, characters in Birth uh, by Sleep. Which, you know, it's like. I'm not to say that was. I mean, not to say that any Kingdom Hearts, any of the Kingdom Hearts games have a good plot or, you know, story pacing or whatever. But, um. There's no time in the realm of darkness. I really like the characters from, uh. To find out what to add to them afterwards or what to do. Or just to get another piece of the puzzle. I decided to, you know, empty my wallet. Do days or years pass with each step? I know something has started to go wrong. I must hurry. But um, if I may, continuing on past my uh, my own little fan rant there, uh, this game, for what it's worth, it looks reasonably good. I mean, Aqua's model, let's see, is pretty nice looking. And as you guys can see, I've kind of, let's see, because this is um, carried over some stuff from my prior save file, I've got little cat ears and whatnot, which, um, oh dear. What was I saying again? As I was. Uh, I guess I know which way I'm going. The, um, da dee ba dee ba da uh, what was I saying? God, I hope I'm not being drowned out by the uh, game audio here, because I don't want to re- re- uh, re-record this. But, um, Aqua's model quality- let's see, the model quality in this game looks really nice. It's pretty- pretty okay for, you know, a four-hour game, right? And, uh, the landscape, for what it's worth, also looks pretty nice. You know, it's Unreal- Unreal Engine standards, assuming it has a standard and whatnot. And, uh, you know, as we'll see in a little while, um, there's some enemy types from uh, Kingdom Hearts. Let's see that we see, yeah, that we've seen in the Kingdom Hearts 2 trailers that um, that make an appearance here. I haven't felt my heart stir in a long time. Something about this place. To be honest, this game, after playing it once, does not add it much like to, the, worse things are stirring. to the franchise as a whole. This is more like something that they just kind of bundled. Let's see, uh, they bundled it in. Or should I say, it's more like a. Uh, it's a. It's like. What's the right word? It's the stall version of a game. Where it's, it's, it's here to fill space until Kingdom Hearts 3 comes out. I mean, that also feels like. You know, that was the whole. That was like the vibe I got from 2.8 to begin with, anyway. So, oh, we have Kingdom Hearts 1.5, Kingdom Hearts 2.5. So that means 3 must be coming on soon, right? It's like, we get that new trailer for 3, and then we get Kingdom Hearts 2.8 HD Remix. Like, we're all, you know, that's, that tells me we're almost there, but we're not, you know, they're not almost there, who am I kidding? We're not going to see Kingdom Hearts 3 at least until maybe uh, 2018, 2019, who knows. I took it for granted. I thought I had nothing in but, um, to lose. I mean, like, if you just listen to the dialogue, it's like Aqua's saying, oh, and here's the PSP cutscenes. Ah, uh, this is, you know, and this is one of those things where you can... This really gives it away about how much, like, this is just something that they threw together you know, to package in 2.8, because, once again, we're just using the cutscenes from the HD version of, uh, 2.5's Birth by Sleep, which this also, you know, like, I guess this kind of gives, see, gives some evidence that they were working on a port of the first two HD collections for the PS4, which I'm not at all tempted to buy. I already own HD versions of the game, and I will not be tempted to get them a third time. Even though, once again, I own Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memories, 
already on the PlayStation 2, and then I rebought them on the PS3. But hey, um, I'm a stickler for a uh, for uh, too. Everyone uh, for visuals and being able to see things clearly. Not which, just the people. I'm also a hypocrite because I also. Oh, what was it? The cat curled up in her nook. I beat Kingdom Hearts 2 on the PS2. So the exact see the exact same day. I beat Kingdom Hearts flowers. 2 on the PS3. Because uh, no I cleared Kingdom Hearts. Let's see, I got to the last boss in Kingdom Hearts 2 on the beginning of uh, the day. I went and got my hair cut, came back home, went upstairs, sat in my bed, and cleared Kingdom Hearts 2. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 2 is a really good game. But I want say, say, I think I pushed there because I wanted to go uh, do the Terra fight. Which was crazy hard. So is the Sephiroth fight, which makes me wonder what's that, what that's gonna be like in, uh... Yes, yes, I know about this. What that's gonna be like in, um, 3. Or if they're even gonna, gonna do that. But hey, it's kind of a, a tradition, almost, I guess? The Coliseum fights? Well, I guess he wasn't a, yeah, he wasn't a Coliseum fight. And, uh... What the fudge am I pressing to attack? Oh uh, god, circle is jump! I keep forgetting that. I want X to be the jump button. And I think I switched it out once when I first played through. And I and that screwed me up even more oddly. I think I started pressing square. Oh, this game, it just it feels weird. You know. It feels like something to fill the gap. You know, until the real project comes out. I mean, I'm not sure how much Square is to blame for this. I mean, like, they had, let's see, at this time they had, or was the this before or after they had Nomura the moved off uh, Final Fantasy XV? Because I know, like, there was a point where he was working on Kingdom Hearts 3, the Final Fantasy VII time. remake, and then but there is no time also place, the, uh, only also 15. The clock. Which, he, and that means he was like, I'm sure he had his, his, hands full with being the was he the director of the yeah he's the director of like all those games yeah so I mean that was that time was a very must have been very difficult for Square you know with their with them being so uh, spread so thin or wide or whatever and that explains you know, all of 15's flaws yeah but hey, at least they're still trying to rectify some of those problems. Trying, that is. I mean, the Gladiola DLC was... Or the free stuff was okay. It's not what I wanted, though. I don't think that's what anyone wanted, really. Eh. I mean, no one asked for this game, either. It's just kind of there, really. I won't get too far without it's like, I mean, especially, like, the customizable stuff. Like, what's the point? Like, this game, it, like, there's not enough of game here for, you know, like... Yeah, I know they're there to just kind of pad out your time and whatnot, so you don't beat the game in four hours. Which, I think it's probably pretty hey, capable hey, to do it in a little bit, too. Hey, 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 yeah, uh, hey, the battle mechanics also feel really hey, odd, too. Hey, hey, so, you get really enough. easily lost. Or at least yeah. I feel... And it feels easy to get lost in this. Or lose track of, like, what you're attacking. And I'm not talking about, like, the shadows that, uh, that go under the floor. I'm talking... Shadows, heartless, whatever you call them. I'm talking about the ones that go in the air. And, uh, also the lock-on icon is also kind of hard to follow, too. It's not all that helpful. Or as helpful as it should be in this game. That's the first save point. Alright, well, I'm gonna go ahead and save here, and then split this, call this apart, and then I'll continue recording immediately after I save.